Greetings, Gagelings. Gagelings Prime here with my live reaction of Mob Psycho 100, Chapter 99, uh, Part 2. Should be three parts this time. I'm trying to be more careful. But anyway, they made contact with the aliens. Are they peaceful? Are they creepy? Are they whatever? Because aliens can literally be anything. Are they the source of all psychic power in the universe? We will never know unless it's actually answered in this series. But hey, everyone's freaking the fuck out, which, hey, I'd love to see aliens. As long as they're not too freaky looking and wish to kill me or dissect me or something. We must learn about the human race so we will find you and dissect you in a cornfield. Hmm. Let's see. Are you serious? Is that the real thing? They really came. What do we do? What are we supposed to do? Don't ask us. You were the one who wanted to meet the aliens, President. Oh, they're beaming down. What do we do? Something's coming down. You know, that is a very small ship compared to those three shadows and the light. So it's like almost a car in comparison in a way. You know, with the... It's a little bit bigger than a car, obviously, but that's because of all the flight required tech. Eh, don't we have anything? They didn't bring a butterfly net or something. What are you planning to get? We don't know what they uh, what they could happen. Yeah, we don't know what could happen if we upset them. And you think a butterfly net's going to happen? Well, we could be like uh, Agent K, and he had a bouquet of flowers, and he gave it to them. Are they? They're chicken legged, <laughs> and they're very stereotypical. Are they wearing schoolgirl outfits? <laughs> they're here. Is this what aliens look like? Slender limbs, large, well-developed cranium, smooth skin, large, glittering eyes. There's no doubt about it. They're the real thing. They're anime schoolgirl aliens. The fuck? <laughs> With chicken limbs. <laughs> As expected, it seems they've had a a different worldview. Maybe we can communicate with them. But they have such a lovely gaze. I don't feel any hostility. Ah, oh, look, they want to shake hands. And Tommy's going to shake hands with them. It's an honor to be able to greet you on behalf of all Earthlings. And what will happen? Is it just that? I bet they've seen humans do that. That's why they did it. Because usually they don't... You never see an alien react that way. Hmm. Good for you, President Karada. Hey, stop that. You don't know what kind of germs they might have. Master. <laughs> oh, they're beckoning them? They want to show us inside the spaceship. Yeah, woohoo! Incredible. Is it really okay to go in? I'm going to. Oh, Mob is a little brave one, isn't he? Hmm. I guess it couldn't hurt. So now they're all getting beamed up. Serata <laughs> uh, is upside down. <laughs> oh, and the other third year student, he, he ain't looking so good. We'll see how big this ship is. Uh, okay, they have a table. Reminds me of our club room. Don't tell me an alien club it's like we're part of the human club or the earth club okay another omake how to create an omake okay just scribbling down and it did not go so well oh really didn't go so well when you're banging your head on the table omake for the omake i georamets mob psycho 100 is that french Yep, illustration for use in French bookstores. I give I give Mob Psycho 100 to your benevolence. <laughs> okay, alrighty. Now they're just eating snacks in the what I'm assuming is the Earth, the Earth Club. So like they really are super friendly, huh? I thought they would be a bit scarier. President, why haven't they tried to talk to them? To see if they can actually communicate. 
or use telepathy maybe to talk to them. I mean, they did sense it after all. Hmm. Mm, excuse me. President, it was your dream to communicate with extraterrestrials, wasn't it? With uh, Takanaka as our interpreter, this is your chance to talk to them. Yeah, that would probably work. Oh, you're right. Uh, uh, she doesn't know what to say. She's dreamed this her whole life and doesn't know what to say. But I guess this whole situation would be befuddling. You know, I mean, it's like, well, we, we kind of were at the end of our rope, and then it just happened, and now we're completely unprepared. It happens to the best of us. Heh, <laughs> heh, I got nothing. Uh, what, what, after we came all this way, then shall we play some video games instead? This is one I'm um, always getting carried, or I'm always carrying around. Good idea, let's show them how to play. Okay, so now they're playing video games. Uh, it's midnight, the start of a new year. Reagan's the only one that cares about that. Reagan seems to be the less enthused one of the whole group. I mean, even the aliens seem to be more interested in all of this than what he would be. Eh, in a place like this, I find myself thinking about rental car late fees. These guys are too bright. Where is the ship floating right now? Surely it didn't go into space. Whoa, it's almost morning already. Better head home soon. What? You're right, I told my parents I'd be staying in a friend's house, but, well, I guess we are pretty much best friends by now. <laughs> oh, the aliens gave them a little orb? A present? A glowing rock. It's beautiful. It's a token of friendship, they say. Oh, so he is communicating with them. Okay, they're staring at us. Does it seem like they want something in return? In that case, I'll give them my scarf. Oh, it looks cute with her scarf on. Yeah. Um, I'll give you this um, memo pad then. Okay, well that... I mean, they didn't come prepared, so random items, obviously. Here, my watch. It's kind of cheap, but you can have my gum. I'll give you this Earth Gaming console. It looks like a cross between, like... The Game Boy Advance, and maybe a Wii U gamepad, to be honest. What about you, Mobcoon? Hmm? I didn't bring anything. What if I show them my telekinesis? And he's just whirling the, the present around. They seem pleased. Oh, I'm glad. Yeah? Why are you getting undressed, Reagan? <laughs> yeah, why? Oh, his, his nightshirt. I was in a hurry this morning, so I had my pajamas on under my clothes. Take this. Who would... <laughs> oh, the same one that's wearing the scarf is wearing that. <laughs> They're pleased. I guess anything's fine by them. Uh, thank you for coming to see us. Oh, and she's hugging her. Or Tommy's hugging the... I don't really know if they have a gender, to be honest. I mean, they look female, but that could just be miscon... I could just be thinking that because of their more female-like eyes. So, oh, we'll be going now. Let's meet again someday. And now they're all waving. The one's even showing off the watch. It's like, I like the watch. <laughs> uh, and there it goes. Oh, first sunrise of the new year. I'll never forget this day. I'm sure everyone else feels the same. I'm sure, huh? Where? Oh my god, they forgot Blondie. <laughs> I assume his hair is blonde. I really need to watch the anime. I'm sure. Uh, where's Inokawa? What? Uh, I think they took him. What? <laughs> so now he's flying off and they even have their arm around him. It's like, you will be our communal boyfriend. And he's like, uh, that's what I would think. <laughs> it's like, uh, so is he gone forever? Inokawa, whose declaration of friendship was mistaken for a desire to emigrate, was brought to the alien's home world. Lacking any kind of te telepathic ability, Inokawa would only, or could only express his wishes through facial expressions and gestures. It is said that by the time he was returned to Earth, ten days had passed. 
Okay, and now we have the the Omega is of the two fighting. Uh, fireball versus telekinetic barrier. Oh, and telekinesis wins the day. It looks like. Let's see here. Is this supposed to be a representation of one? Because I don't think anyone has ever like seen him before, right? I had planned to continue this and was proceeding towards the end, but it started getting too long, so I'm cutting it. Eh, you took it this far just to cut it? That is because I have decided to remaster and consolidate the entire thing into a, a tank of bon. uh, Really? 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 Oh, God, I'm not reading all that. <laughs> okay. And now we are in part, or, six, or section five. Okay, Happy New Year. Where'd you go over winter break? Grandma's house. Exams already? They ain't good. Uh, Happy New Year. Keep up the good work this year. Did you watch the comedy bloodshed death match? What the? What? It's, I'm confused. <laughs> Is it anything like Celebrity Deathmatch on MTV? Anybody remember that show? That was crazy. Okay, they're all going into the school. Happy New Year. Hmm, teacher addressing them. Uh, the third semester starts today. First of all, uh, we'll have an opening ceremony and we'll finish collecting your uh, winter break homework after that. They had homework, really. I hate teachers that give homework during breaks. It might be a sudden change from the sluggishness of vacation, but starting tomorrow, we'll be getting into exam preparation proper. We'll only be in this classroom for another three months. Please be diligent or diligently apply yourself and get along until uh, it's time for class changes. Oh, class changes. When I'm a third year, maybe I'll be in the same class as Subami-chan. Oh, mob and that wishful positive attitude. Or as Jacksepticeye would say, PMA, positive mental attitude. Okay. Ah, that's right. There was one more message to relay. It seems that... All... I thought she was moving to their class, but no, she's moving away. It seems that uh, Takani uh, Tsubami-san of class 2-3 will be moving away within the next month. And there goes Mob's l life and dreams, hopes and dreams, pardon. He's going to go up to 99% in an instant, isn't he? Huh? Moving away? That's, huh? 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 All... What is up with this, with her having short hair? Is that what he assumes she would look like once they got married and she was older? <laughs> or something? Huh? Huh? This is too sudden. My head can't keep up. Huh? Huh? Even though I was thinking I would tell her how I feel after we take our entrance exams. I was supposed to have a whole year to work with. While I still haven't, I haven't taken any action, so nothing has happened. So is that even possible? So Bami chan will be further away than ever time is limited okay so he's got less than a month <laughs> to proclaim his love to his lady fair uh, I need to confess to her what's up Kagiyama uh, forget your homework uh, it's nothing oh look it's uh, Inokawa <clears throat> excuse me I guess this would have been after the 10 day period in which he came back to Earth. Which, I guess they would have been like, hey, we can't really talk to you, and he wouldn't be able to interpret any of that. We, we don't, can't talk to you, so we're taking you home, you know? It was fun. And he'd be like, hi. <laughs> I don't know what to, I don't know how to talk to you. Smile. I'm not going to frown because I don't want you to kill me or drop me off on some deserted planet. <laughs> uh, Mom, come to think of it, he likes uh, Taki Nissan, doesn't he? I bet he's got a lot of stuff to work through in his heart. Nose is itchy. And the page isn't loading. Lovely. Going to 
gonna confess. Gotta confess. Oh, all the a lot of boys in the class are going to confess. But she's the school's number one idol. How does he plan to compete with all the other rivals? Mob. C c confess. Okay, so now he's confessing his about his confession proposal ideas with the Body Improvement Club. Yes. Are the feelings all? Are you? Are you feeling all right, Kagiyama? How about that? Every one of you could share any experience you have or any tips to make it less unpleasant. I humbly ask your or seek your advice. They're a bunch of muscle heads, Mob. They probably haven't even thought the first thing about the opposite sex. Which, you know, this brings up a question. Why isn't there any fitness-minded girls in the club? Because that would have been interesting to see those interactions. Experience? None at all. Kagiyama, take off your clothes. So sudden. Maybe they aren't into girls. Not... To anyone, not to offend anyone, it just very situational humor, and I'm a horrible at it. Uh, okay, and now they're just hitting him. What? Ow! You're developing some nice muscles. They they changed the subject. Okay, these muscles are where your experience is stored. Your hard work is becoming fr uh, fruitful. Surely your muscles will be a success with the opponent you have in mind. What? Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now he's with the, and now he's looking over at the club table. Uh, if you could offer any advice, uh, yeah, they're they're even more hopeless, I think. Hmm, the pages are getting where they don't want to load. My internet connection's bad. No. Haha, <laughs> there's no way the telepathy club could give you romance advice. What is he doing there? You have my, or you have a point. Oh, huh. Does, uh, still to think, uh, Takanisan is moving away. I was fond of her myself. Perhaps I'll try to toss my own, or try tossing my own hat into the ring. Oh? <clears throat> uh, Kagiyama-kun, are you going to use telepathy to read Tsubami-chan's heart? Kagiyama, using psychic powers to curry favor might work at first, but even I couldn't keep that up. What do you think it's easy for a telepath to become popular? If I read a woman's heart with telepathy, you'll be popular. Uh, Tomi-san once told me that. <laughs> like President Kurata knows anything about a woman's heart. Oh, oh, that burn. Someone get me a burn hill. <laughs> God, that, but, I mean, that that's horrible, regardless, I mean. Hey, enough of that, you two. Don't start talking shit while everyone's frozen in awe of sudden developments. How about confessing? Bob Coon, are you really, truly serious this time? Yes. Is that so? I understand. In that case... Let me give you one essential piece of advice. You should get a different haircut. Oh, but I like his bowl haircut. I'll go so far as to say that much. You can ignore her. Sorry, Mob. We can't give you any advice, but we'll stay out of your way and watch over you from far. So they just want to play spectators. Good luck, yeah, Kageyama-kun. Do your best, Kageyama-senpai. Uh, Tsubami-chan, can I talk to you for a second? Is he really saying this, or is that... Okay, so we're getting some development on what happened to Inokawa during the Omeg. Okay. New Year's Eve, uh, 2001X. I was taken away by a UFO. And he's wearing... They gave him all the stuff. That's weird. The aliens who uh, were there did not understand my words, but I didn't believe they meant any harm. Uh, they didn't, right? <laughs> this must have happened because of some misunderstanding. It must have, right? 
I tried to persuade them to bring me back to Earth, but it seemed like my struggle will stretch on and on. I think I'll keep a diary with this memo pad. For now, day one, I cried the whole time. Aw. Okay. Is it just the... Okay, we read one more segment and then I'll call it quits. Uh, let's see. Okay, we have random background character number one. I love, I love Tsubame Chan. <laughs> I like you. Please go out with me. I'm sorry, but why? <laughs> oh, do I have to say the reason? Is it is he a dumbass? Is he a, is he a hick by Japanese standards? It's because I have no interest in you. Sorry to bother you. Oh, so, okay. And there is a line. Okay, I didn't think there would be a queuing process to confess. Uh, there are still that many left. It's mostly people I don't know. This is such a pain. Oh, so Mob actually stands a chance? <laughs> okay, he's going. He's turning back. He's fighting himself to go. Mob Coon, what are you doing? Eh. <laughs> so he's ran into Mizato. Eh. If it's about uh, Takanisan, she's not in the classroom anymore. Uh, she went home already? I see, so she went home. Then I guess I'll call, or call it quits for today. Yep, nothing I can do. I'll just try tomorrow instead. <laughs> eh. Don't let your nerves get to you, boy. Eh. She's behind the school building. Eh? Behind the school. Why a place like that? While you're dawdling here, tons of other boys are confessing to her. You say, what? And with that face, he looks like a monkey. I should go. If you go now, she'll turn you down. Oh. But I still think, you know, it would have some kind of impact because she actually has talked to him and knows who he is. Right now, she's doling out a flurry of rejections, like an assembly line in a factory. Behind the school, it's a mass production of broken hearts. And if you get caught up in that flow, you'll be rejected too. And if you go without a plan, you'll definitely get turned down. Ms. Otto-san, if you think I should... Or do you think I should cut my hair? Sure. Why your hair? What do women look for in a man? He's taken a step forward since he started muscle training. <laughs> I don't mind teaching you, if you'll do me a favor. Sign something for me next time. Sign? The remaining members of the Psycho Helmet cult are all huge fans of yours, Mobcoon. Oh, yeah. Okay. I guess that's fine. Eh. First, gentlemanly things. It's important to be courteous to the girls in your class. The next thing you need is depth of character. Well, he doesn't really have that. I mean, he's definitely deepened a lot more than from the beginning of the series, but eh, it's still a far cry. Eh, being reliable, listening to people's concerns. He does that. Accepting even those who show weakness. He, he I think he's done that. Meeting people, or making people feel like they can talk to you about anything. He may not always understand, but I think he's a, a kind ear to, to take in info. If you can take on that much, Mob Coon, you might be able to take on uh, Taki Nissan. Take on Tsubami-chan? Yeah, it seems like most boys only like her for her appearance, but I suspect, or I suspect she's hiding her true nature. As for whether you can handle that true identity. So you suspect that. So could she be an alien? Or could she be a broccoloid maybe? Or could she even be a psychic? That, that would be interesting. <laughs> yeah. Well, personally, I have no clue what you see in uh, Takanisan, But whatever. You want him. You want the mob. <laughs> eh? I mean, it seems like she doesn't trust anyone. I doubt she's interested in other people at all. How can you know something like that? Just from watching her daily activities. 
or habits. Honestly, how do you not know that? You should learn to look at people from a different angle once in a while. Hey, Mabakun, I guess she would have, excuse me, that kind of point of view. Because that's how, like, some reporters, I imagine, pick up on things to go report on them. It's like, hmm, why is the mayor with that person? Hmm, let's go investigate. Anyway, uh, what do you see in her? Oh, so now we're at the agency. Hmm, so unless you can answer that question, you go behind the school building. You won't be able to give it your all at work, you say. You've put in, t or you've been put in a tough spot, Mopkin. Eh, bringing the spring of youth into the office like this. Of course, middle schoolers aren't going to like each other based on appearance. What? Or, no, they are going to. Okay. Uh, I understand wanting to believe they're different, but in the end, men are simple creatures. Right, <laughs> Shirozawa? Nah, I didn't go to school, so I don't really know. He went to elementary school, right? Or the Japanese equivalent thereof. Uh, well, there must have been some girl you liked, right? Nope, none. Never. <laughs> At that age, even if you laugh it off, that's a bit troubling. But, eh, no, wait. Are you serious? Having someone that you like, I'm jealous. Eh, shijio uh, If you feel the same, no matter what anyone tells you. Your feelings must be real. So, what does it matter if you can't put the reason into words? Well, then it means that you're going to look like an idiot. Like me half the time, because I don't always know how to say things that I have on my mind. S yes, that. I was about to say that same kind of thing. Reagan, don't take it by, or don't try and take credit. Okay, now we're back on the alien planet. Diary part two. Uh, day two. On their planet, there are no nights or stars. That makes literally no sense. There's no night, so either they have a, they're either a very cold place with no surrounding, you know, suns, which are stars, so, but if you're having light, either it's all artificially created or what, I don't know, and he's wearing the shirt still. If I don't have a watch, I would probably have no idea what time it was. Or how many days have passed. I shudder at that thought. Well, depending on how far away they traveled and which planet you're on to a relative star, time flows a bit differently. Like, Venus and Mercury, their days are, I believe, are much shorter than what's on Earth. So, and Mars, I think, is a bit longer days and year and whatnot. So, your concept of time is completely... They've been kissing him in that one panel. Yeah. They all come out and had a welcoming party for me. This is probably a party, right? I will assume they didn't throw you on the table and try to eat you, right? Naturally, the table was covered in foodstuffs I'd never seen before. Most of them still moving. <laughs> well, there are a few countries even in on Earth that do that, too. I only put the non-moving ones in my mouth. When they started some kind of dance, I was invited to stand on stage in the middle. At this, ur or at their urging, I did some random dancing and they were really loving it. He is naked on stage. I see his booty butt cheeks. Ah, I got carried away and ended up taking off my clothes and dancing until I passed out from exhaustion. What? I only realized this afterwards, but it seems that there's something uh, alcoholic among the things I ate. Okay. When I woke up the next morning, there were kiss marks on something or something all over my body, but I decided not to think about anything. Well, he sounds like he's living the rocker lifestyle, to be honest. It's like, I dance on stage all night and I wake up with kiss marks all over me and naked. Because I was drunk. <laughs> uh, the important thing. Okay, now we're 
Well, I'll leave this for the next one. Yeah, we're in section seven now, so I'll have cut it here. But, uh, interesting. I do like that we're not leaving Inukawa's, uh, alien days, you know, completely out of the loop, so that that's good. But, uh, yeah, I think we can finish this chapter up in the next video. So, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Keisha Prime, and I'll see you next time. Keishlings, roll out. <laughs>